Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to start with the bronze medal match for the recap women in the category. Please welcome the line judge and the coaches. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the two and archers here we to are take on with the recurve from Korea. Matches. Yon and we will start with recurve women. And we have the bronze medal match starting just in a moment. And we can see how we have our archers entering. And with me, I have the pleasure to have Mackenzie Brown. Welcome. <laughs> and the shooting on target to also here you are. Korea. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. I'm so Thank you very much for sharing this time with us. Yeah, no problem. And it's always important to have an expert here, so what we say makes sense. Because yes. on my side, I will try to take as much information from you as possible. Yes, okay. <laughs> here we have the bronze medal match. The two uh, archers who make it was Jeon against Hanso, both of Korea. Mm -hmm. We have several companies team, professional team coming to this event. Uh, the Koreans one. tend to be pretty dominant set when it comes to, uh, to reach for archery for, for the women and, and for the men too, but uh, mainly with the women. And you definitely see that here in these finals. Um, they're just fierce competitors. But uh, Aida Roman made it into the gold medal match, so that's really exciting. Yes, we could see how she was not feeling so confident at the beginning, but mm -hmm. when she's not very confident, she makes it to the final. It's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Ten. And for sure, you have to lead with the Koreans very often. Mm -hmm. You have a very good season this year. Yes, we I saw you very often in finals, so congratulations. Yes, thank you. Um, I met several several Koreans this, this season. Um, in the World Cup final, I, I lost to... Um, for me soon in the semi-final match. I don't remember. I, I'm impressed you remember the name. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, it was a very close match, but uh, she shot a 10 and when I needed to shoot a 10 and I shot a 9, so it happens. It was a very close match. That's what Atra is about nowadays, is to make a 10 when you need it. It is, absolutely. And here in Recurve, uh, we are shooting with a set system. We just finish it with a compound. We'll have a regular scoring and record. Mm -hmm. We use the set system, which gives you a bit of space to have some bad arrows. It but does. doesn't mean that it's easier. No, not necessarily. It's set play is, like you said, it's um, being able to shoot a 10 when you need it and being able to shoot a good arrow when you need it. Um, set points is all about being able to do ooh, just one more point than your competitor. It's not necessarily being absolutely perfect. It's about making the best shot and, and being one point better than your competitor. And that's another the difference when we compare to the compound. The compound start the competition knowing that they have to have all 10, so yep. they can just lose. So it's I have to start a competition a having 150, and the only thing I can do is miss some and give opportunity to my opponent. But in recurve, yes. we try to make a good shot and try to gain point by making 10. Yeah, uh, compound is definitely a perfection game. Uh, recurve is more a uh, competition game. Not not that compound's not, but it's just like you're competing against that other person and you just have to be just a little bit better, whereas compound is you have to be perfect. Correct. It's a different mindset and Absolutely. we can see that the, the matches evolve in different way as well. Mm -hmm. And we had the first end, we can see the two Koreans shooting. The form is very nice, very easy. Yes. They have a tendency to look, to make it look easy. It's <laughs> very easy. Um, that's kind of our job as, <laughs> as professionals is to make it look easy. Um, but these, these competitors definitely work really hard to, to make it look look that way. Um, I know look like they don't make effort, look like they are really relaxed. Yeah. Look like it's nothing to happen, it's just simple. It's just another day. And it's just so many things happen inside, eh? Absolutely. <laughs> And that's something very difficult to explain to people who watch archery, that what you see from outside mm -hmm. is not what you feel inside. When you are there in shooting line, there's a lot of things happening inside. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of talking, self-talking, yes. feeling. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's it's easy for us to to go and, and look like we're, we've got it all together and it's you know completely perfect and you're just stone-faced and it's all good. But uh, all, all inside... All under control. <laughs> under control. <laughs> Inside, you're, you've got a little bit of anxiety, but you still are working on your process and making sure you're shooting a good shot. Mm. So we have a tie in the set points, 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. 
I asked before for a shoot off and I got it. So did you? See. Yes. Did you? Let's see. Logan was so nice. Yeah. He did me a shoot off. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's see what's happened with this recurve match. Because two Koreans shooting together. First point to be dropped after uh, eight arrows, nine arrows. Oh. They want to stay tied. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I asked for that sound shoot off. I want to get yeah, one. Yeah, we'll get straight See, tie a little bit sets. On the right, we saw this before also in the compound. Seems that the light could be a bit different from mm -hmm. the practice field to the final field. Yeah, um, something I noticed was the lighting was a little bit hey. lighter on the practice side, where it's a little bit brighter here. Um, it, it can also just be a shot feeling. It, it's not necessarily just one side or the other. Because I was talking to um, Toya, she just got done with her gold medal match, and she was saying she had a little bit of difference between the practice yes, the range. the first arrow here. went to the left, she correct, mm -hmm. and then she got it, but yes, she felt that yes. was different. And she was watching the previous match with the archer having three arrows in one side. Yep. So she was smart, yeah. watch what happened in the previous match, and when she shot the first arrow, she corrected immediately. Well, confirmed yeah, on so for one, us, it's, uh, it's definitely a learning so game. So if you can benefit by watching two. someone else also and watching how someone else points. competes and seeing the difference between the practice range and here, It'll definitely benefit. It doesn't always mean that you're going to shoot just like they did because everybody's different, but it definitely helps if you're being smart about it and learning from other people. You have some references and another data you can use for making a decision. Um, yeah, absolutely. Outdoors is, is a little bit different. You can definitely watch the arrow flight. You can definitely watch the wind. And that helps for that, but um, indoors it's, it's also good to see lighting differences. And it's affecting a lot because in compound we have the pip, a little hole in the in the string that mm -hmm. is aligned with the scope or the yeah. aim. In record we have the string, mm -hmm. the string that we see close to the face and we align it with the bow so we make sure mm -hmm. that it's in the right direction. And depending yeah. on the lights, how affecting the string, you can see one side or the other side of the string and make change a little bit the alignment. Yeah. What is important is to get the set mark very fast that you feel it's not about the light is about you, mm -hmm. it's not about sight. Absolutely. You make a perfect shot and arrows going left, left, left. You don't know if it's you, if it's the, yeah. the light, if it's the sight. So yeah. get this good feeling fast is quite important. So Han Sol got a lead of three sets of points against one to Jeon. But as based on the set system, the match is still open. Yeah. We see here in the image Dean Alberga, our photographer. Ten. And we have many cameras here, but are remote camera, not cameragrapher, not mm -hmm. cameraman. <laughs> so, but an archer, how you feel these cameras around and we're shooting? You see them? Oh. You don't see them? You feel them? You try to ignore them? Or you just <laughs> watch the ten and nothing around them? <laughs> how I do you see it? I see the cameras. Uh, mainly, it's just me focusing on what I'm doing and the target. Um, I, and I, I've also talked to a couple of my, my competitors and other teammates. And I don't hear a whole lot while I'm shooting either. Like I hear people cheering for me. I hear some of the music that's played and my coach and that's it. I don't hear anything else. People talk to me about like, do you hear the crowd? Do you you know, are you involved with the crowd at all? And I'm just like, no, I don't, I barely even notice that they're there. Good focus. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of our game is be as focused as possible. So four Ten. to four, leading by Han Sol. Mm -hmm. Ten. 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 So it seems they just get ten here. <laughs> yep, it's it's a ten game right now. Ten. So I think she got it. Yeah, we'll see if they tied the set or. Yeah, you're right. John Still gets. Still, gets so she needs a man. ten to force one one, and she ten goes. Ten also from Kangsoo. Right, so it's a five, three. Five three. 
You might get your shoot off after all. See, <laughs> see. Wish for it, and it might happen. <laughs> but it's a fantastic end. Ten, 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 ten. And it's interesting this timing they have. It's very fast. They're very active. They have go three seconds shooting. Very well, consistent. It's the same way they do in practice too. Just watching on the practice field, and I'm sure at their their home field is the same as. You draw back, you get back to the clicker, it clicks, you go. It, it, there's no waiting around. Um, it's very precise and the same thing over and over again. And that's what you see in a lot of really highly competitive archers. Which means when they go on a full draw, they're ready in a 10. Yep, ready to go, click. And that, that one was wasn't an eight. <laughs> wasn't awesome. It was an eight. Which make the way a bit easier to hand solve. Opens a window. Very much. Ten. Maybe a door instead of a window. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> a big one, correct. Something that you'll find with a lot of the Korean archers is they prefer win-win nice. win bows. So you see both of these competitors shooting win and win. It's right, win and win. Nice. Korean company. But also I realize I've not seen too many Koreans in the past losing the lower finger of the string. Oh. And now I see more and more. Hmm. Ten. She got the match. Right. She got the bronze yeah. medal. Quite consistent shooting from the beginning to the end. Absolutely. Good timing and without any big mistake. Mm -hmm. While John Sung Jong did uh, an eight and several nine, so give a, a big door, as you say, not a yes. window. <laughs> give a door. Yes. <laughs> she it. she put up a very good fight, but uh, at the end. Uh, we have a winner. We have the Ping. results of the Quite women's uh, bronze medal Kang match. From the Hyundai team, company team. Mm -hmm. The bronze Korea, medal they match. Have professional bronze team. medal, Rick Hoffman goes to target to Kang Hanso of Korea. Congratulations to both Teams that pay salaries for the archers, coaches, and it's 